What's that you're pouring out? It's for Eifried's memorial. Captain, this is some good booze the first mate's been hiding away. Drink up! It's all yours! Ha! I'll never forget you, Captain. And I'll never forget that 500 gold I loaned to you, either. And I'll always remember how hard your fists were. <laughs> That's just because you screwed up all the time, Benwick. I always meant to hit him back one day, but now I'll never have the chance. It's so unfair! Oh, shut up. It'd be a hundred years before you'd be able to knock him out. Not even Von Eifried would wait that long for you. Hey, I could have managed it in 50. <laughs> <laughs> well, this turned out to be a pretty lively memorial. To death, we are as equals. It comes to us all. There's no reason to treat it as something special. Exactly. And besides, we're all pirates here. Wherever we sail, death is always lurking beneath the waves. You're all prepared for it. Of course we are. Aizen, would you mind if I said a prayer for Eifried? You would? He's the most terrible villain in a hundred years. That's true, but I just... What if you prayed for Aizen's friends instead? I don't think there'd be a problem with that. Okay. Is it all right if I pray for your friends instead, Aizen? I'm not stopping you. Captain, I was more enriched by the days I spent sailing with you than the centuries I roamed in search of something to end my curse. Thanks for the fun, Eifried.
Cheap egg, another ingredient for the Omega Elixir. All right, let's hurry and get this back to Videl. I'm not sure I've ever seen Laffy said so animated. He's just not one to give up easily. I honestly couldn't tell you where he gets it from. Really? Well, I think you and Laffy said are actually rather similar. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm completely serious. And to a dumb old demon like me, it doesn't seem like a bad thing. Three Nordals collected, and one to go. Right. Usually that turtle shows up right about now. What gives? Turtles, loiters, embroiders? You mean, the turtles is late because he's taking too much time getting a new design for his robe? I knew you could follow along, my dear little oyster. Should we wait for him a bit longer? I'm sure your sister's reply has to be arriving soon. I don't write her those letters expecting to get a reply. They're more like an apology for not coming home to see her. But you can't go home because of the Reaper's curse, right? So why do you need to send letters and gifts? Soon after I left, my sister wrote me a letter. She said, I don't care if it's dangerous. I want to be with you. Maybe the old me, once I realized there was no fixing this curse, would have gone home prepared to do everything in my power to protect her. But I'm not the old me. Haven't been since I met Eifried and his crew. I understand. You found your place on that ship. Even if you lifted the curse, you wouldn't move back home. Do you think your sister knows that? I haven't told her directly, but I'm sure she's realized it. She's smart, and she's empathetic. That's why she never sends me a reply. You mean because she respects that you've chosen your way of life? That's probably how she sees it, yes. But understanding does not preclude loneliness. I think she doesn't reply as a way of showing that she disapproves. And you keep on sending those letters by way of atonement. I don't think it's anything so noble as that, but sure. You're probably not too far off the mark. A brother writing letters knowing he'll never get a reply. And a sister waiting for a brother she knows will never come home. You two make it so damn complicated. Just talk it out face to face and make up already. It's not that hard. Mm. At least the person you care about is still alive. Velvet. <sighs> Are we done here? Let's go.
Good. It seems you're both still here inside me, then. It is not as though we desired these circumstances. We're only here because you ate us. I'll make no apologies. You wish to sacrifice us to the four elemental Empyreans, is that it? Yes. I won't apologize for that, either. It matters not. Your sins are nothing a mere apology could ever absolve. I know. At least you're aware of how selfish you are. Good for you, then. Remember this well, Lord of Calamity. No matter how many times I am reborn, I will act the same. As will I. And I as well. Did you say something? Just dreaming is all. But I know now how deep my sins run. Velvet, there's something I've wanted to talk to you about. It's... it's about the Therians. And about Lafayette. Let me guess. The link between us and Inominat. Yes. There's no way of knowing what will happen until we actually try, but... You don't have to worry about me. I said it before, best just to blame all the wickedness of the world on the Lord of Calamity. Don't you try to shoulder all of this yourself! We exorcists are just as much at fault for letting things come to this. So let me ponder what to do about Kamoana and the rest, but you need to think about Lafayette. There, I've said my piece. I don't know which of us is more stubborn. Still, I've got to face the truth. I've got to tell him. Oh good! This place hasn't been suppressed yet. We're loading. Give me a hand, will ya? Hey, you listening? Sorry. Something just feels weird. Like there's something tugging at my thoughts. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of that lately. But pull yourself together. Yeesh! Yet, being the operative term here. We'd better get a move on. Benwick, don't leave Kamoana or Medissa's domain, got it? The Therians are part of Inominat. They should be able to resist suppression to some extent. Aye, aye. You watch yourself too, first mate. Mount Killerhouse is at the northern edge of Northgand. Bit of a trek. It'd be nice if we could resupply along the way. There's a town, Mercio, near the foot of the volcano. It faces the sea, but the currents lately have been too strong to approach it by water. However, the land route should still be clear. The whole continent has been getting colder of late, not just Northgand. Colder? Could it have something to do with the Nominat? Or maybe it's because the elemental Empyreans are asleep? Both sound possible. 
But think too hard about the cold, and it'll give you the shivers. Yeah, but even so... Whatever the case, our course remains the same. We'll head to Mercio and work from there. My son came home from the capital and said he'd take over the family fishing business. That was always my dream. But is it really best for the world? For him to waste his talents on such a primitive activity? Dad, what are you saying? I thought we talked about this. You should use your education to help the country and people all across the world. That is the way of reason. That guy is acting really oddly. Wait, we talked about this? Yeah, you agreed that I should use my knowledge to advance fishing technology and stabilize the world's food supply, remember? Oh, yes, that's right. Shape up, Dad. What's the problem? Drinking too much? Just a nightcap before bed. If you need some rest, I'll take the boat out myself today. <laughs> That'd be the day. Like I'd put you in charge. You're not ready to take the boat out by yourself. An ill-fated fisherman's fortune. His memories are muddied. But is it divine will that dulls his wits? Or drink? A sailor who can't handle his drink is just as shameful as one who gets seasick. Daddy, we're having a long-armed crab hot pot party when you come home tonight. As the world gets colder, the long-armed crab's habitat expands. Do your best out there today. If the crabs breed too quickly, it will affect the fish. Hey, that guy is... Daddy? You're acting weird. Oh, sorry about that. My mind just wandered away from me there for a second. If you do that on your boat, you'll fall into the sea. Yeah, that's right. I'll be careful. Good luck out there! That boy's father, he was acting strangely. The suppression is starting to affect people out here, too. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Yes, father. I am here. No, no, I wasn't talking to you. Surely an exorcist has nothing to repent. Truly, the sinners are those people you're with who come into this cathedral and say whatever they please. No, Father. I've done a great many things that I regret. For instance, I once put blind, unquestioning faith in the Abbey's ideals of reason and justice. In making any decision, I used not my head or my gut or my heart but instead relied on the Abbey's answers. Ah. I lorded my authority over those I thought to be below me, when I didn't even know the truth of how things actually worked. What? I was telling other people how to live their lives, when I needed to look at my own flaws instead. Ah. But I won't repent for my past deeds. To seek forgiveness from the Empyreans would be to repeat those very same mistakes. I will follow my own judgment now, as I strive to make amends for the misdeeds and regrets of my past. Please, Lady Exorcist, listen to my confession, for I have much to repent. Huh? Father, why are you crying? Did you hear that Moloch they were doing experiments on finally broke? Yeah. You mean the one where they were trying to combine multiple smaller Malachim into one giant Moloch? I always figured it was a waste of time. Turns out it not only looked like a freak, but its shackled mind snapped, leaving the thing feral. Huh? Guess they'll have to dispose of it. Yeah. For now, they've moved it out to the Faldi's ruins. They're repurposing it as a test target for a new Moloch art and development. At least we'll be able to get some valuable data out of it. Using Molochim for their own ends. Is there no line they won't cross? I hope you're not thinking of doing anything unnecessary. Oh? Like what? Like thinking about bringing mercy to a broken Moloch. What I think is necessary and what actions I take 
are for me to decide. Aizen! That exorcist said they were using the Moloch to get data on a new Moloch art. If it were complete, they could use it against us. Stopping that wouldn't be a waste of our time, would it? You think you know just what to say to me, don't you? I'm just stating the truth. Just so we're clear, we're not going to rescue it. No argument here. opened our arms and welcomed that vagabond into our town. But despite our kindness, he robbed us, started fights, caused trouble. Then he stole a boat and escaped. But I was the one that let him go. I'm guilty too. We have to be strict with criminals. Rogues always seem to drift into hell of ease, don't they? Huh? Were we talking about something? Wait, did you forget what you just said? Yeah, but I hope I didn't say anything strange. We were talking about how nice of a guy you were. Huh? Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Huh? I see you're at it again. Am I that predictable? That stance. It's called nothingness, right? A clear state of mind and all that. <laughs> Does it look meditative or something? I wish it was, but really it's the exact opposite. It brings out all my negative thoughts. My hatred. My doubts. My ego. My anger. I take up my sword to cut myself free of such wrongful emotions. At least, that's what I used to think. But that's just not possible, is it? Not for anyone. Hell, even if I could let go of that part of myself, I'm not sure I'd want to. Because if you let go of your desire to kill Shigure, you'd lose your purpose in life? My spiteful thoughts, my wrongful feelings, my pride, my inner contradictions... All these are parts of who I am. Through practice, I learn to embrace who I am the good and the bad, and become the swordsman only I can be. That's the only way I will achieve what cannot be done. Defeating Shigure. And Shigure. He's already at peace with his inner self. Exactly. And so are you. You really think so? I do. That's why I will never give up. Besides, I still need to repay my debt to you. <laughs> well... I look forward to seeing the final results, that's for sure. freezing before. Now it goes straight to the bone. Allow me to warm. Not Nessa. Uh, uh, oh, the stasis are going around? What? Uh, so cold. If it's this bad here, I dread to think of what the Guyberg ice field is like. The tundra past Mount Killer House? Is it really that cold? I've stayed up in the mountains many times for my training. With all the snow, I imagine it'd be pretty rough for a normal human. Why are you sneezing all of a sudden? Demons aren't supposed to feel cold. Ah, uh, a snowflake just flew up my nose and. Achoo! You're sneezing too. My hair was blowing around and tickled my nose. But according to the old book I read, it isn't supposed to snow much around Guyberk. Because of lava from the volcano and the Earth's natural heat, 
I bet the book calls it Guybert Plains, too. Yeah, it says Mount Killerhouse was highly active, and the area used to be famous for its hot springs. But now it's... Uh... What? Why are you all staring? They're all expecting you to sneeze, I think. Everyone else is doing it! Now give us a good show! Ah... Uh... Uh... Ah... Uh... Sorry, everyone. No sneezes here. I'll practice for next time. Ah, oh, good grief. to be extremely wary. Go! This must be that experimental Moloch. Why a cow's head? This is bull. Careful! It's on a rampage! Time to put a stop to this! Die! 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 Die!
Enormous bovine Moloch? Was that the best the Abbey could think up? As if robbing our free will wasn't enough. Now they're trying to reshape Molochim. I'm so sorry, Aizen. What they did here was terrible. I don't really care about the callous experimentation. If the Molochim participated by their own free will, then sure, that's their choice. But this one had its free will locked away and was used and discarded like a mere tool. That's what I can never forgive. And the Abbey is treating countless Malakim the same way. Sounds like this has gotten you all fired up. Maybe I'm glad we came here. Oh, believe me. I've been fired up for a good long time. Ever since I decided how I want to live my life. It's only a bit further to the town of Mercio. And once we're past Mercio, we'll find our destiny on Mount Killaros. I know it's supposed to be cold here, but I didn't think it would be this cold. 
Reviving the elemental Empyreans is bound to alter this weather. <sighs> I'm not sure how much warmer it'll get in the time we'll still be alive. Keep moving. The cold and the climb don't matter. We have to move forward. We can't stop until the elemental Empyreans have been revived. Is this Mercio? Three days on watch with no sleep? I was ten freaking minutes late! It's not like the mine is gonna fall apart! Hey, uh... Sure, whatever! If you got business here, go on in! Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> They'll pay for this! so many people lived up here on the northern edge of the world. This town was built around the mining of flamestone, which can only be found here on Mount Killaraus. So if anything happens to the volcano, this town's screwed. So releasing the two souls here will surely destroy the town. Inhuman, aren't I? Curse me all you want. I have no right to. The Abbey has proven itself just as heartless. People living here must have the will to endure the cold to fight back against this pitiless environment. I'd rather have that strength than feel nothing in the face of my troubles and pain. Agreed. A life without feeling is a box of stupid. Yes, a vast container of... Uh, of stupid. Right. The question is, can we wake up all four elemental Empyreans with the souls Velvet has absorbed? If Inominat's revival and the Empyrean slumber are related, we should assume we need all four Empyreans to stop him. I think... I'll only be able to wake two. There are only two souls left inside of me. Teresa's and Oscar's. Are you sure? Yes. I can tell. I don't know if two Empyreans will be enough to fight him. This is my responsibility. I offer my own soul- well, If we don't have enough, let's knock on Shigure's door. 
His soul would make a fine sacrifice. Old man Melchior, too. His heart's as cold as a witch's teat, but he's free of malevolence. You're truly ready to take on two leggets at once? I was born ready. It's not like they'll sit back and ignore us anyway. And with Artorius and Inomi not all tied up with their suppression party, this is the perfect chance to take them out. <sighs> Acting with caution is... a box of stupid, I take it? <laughs> now you're catching on. All right. Leave it to me. So, I'm all stoked for the god waking, but what's the plan? The road to the volcano is on the other side of town. Let's start by taking a quick look around. Have you heard the rumors about the Lord of Calamity? No. What rumors? That deadly demon whose rampage began in Helovis. The Abbey finally got her. I heard that she bites anyone who meets her gaze, that she devours humans as a snack, and that she has the head of a wolf. I was terrified of what might happen if she showed up here. Now, I can finally rest easy, knowing that she's gone. Yeah, you wouldn't want to get bitten, that's for sure. I know. I'm so relieved. I don't want a demon to kill me. Definitely not. In fact, if you ever meet one, you should run. Fast. The gatekeeper, he wasn't mean to you, was he? He was pretty angry about being forced to watch the gate, but he let us pass through no problem. I know that being forced to be on watch for three days straight is excessively harsh, but still. He wandered here from another town one day. He barely ever does any work and has a habit of pilfering things. He skipped out on his duties in the Flamestone Mines, and while we were busy working, he was sneaking into our empty houses to steal things. So that's why you made him stand at the edge of the village. Yeah. We're bringing him food, of course. We told him that if he doesn't like it, he can leave. Still, is he actually accomplishing anything out there? He may be bold enough to rob us, but he's a real coward. If a demon showed up, he'd shut the gates and come running. He doesn't have anywhere else to go, so we're hoping that eventually he'll realize the error of his ways. If you keep forcing him to stand out there in the cold, he might find another place to go. The afterlife. Mercio has been getting colder every year. We used to have a spring and summer, short though they were. Now we're the town of eternal winter. It sounds like a tough place to live. Still, Flamestone is used for more than just heating. People all over the world need it, you know. That's why no matter how tough it gets, we keep on with our lives here, while holding pride in our work. No matter how cold it gets, this place is our home. The warmth inside our hearts can keep the chill away. This town really is warm, then, in body and soul. Oh, I like the way you talk. Make sure to take a dip in our hot spring before you leave. Oh, here's a tip. The water is scalding hot, so put some snow in to lower the temperature. Snow in the tub, got it? What a peaceful, serene place. You sure it isn't just the snow? But doesn't it look pure and beautiful? Well, I think it's pretty, too. But that doesn't guarantee the citizens will be. <sighs> Not you too, Aizen. Well, they're kind enough to let a shirker stand out in the cold for three days. He might have been up to no good. Every town has sunny spots and shadows. I'm well aware of that, but this discussion isn't leading anywhere. We'll know once we go see for ourselves. Just think of it like your old job. Investigate, and find the truth. Yes, I believe I shall. Demon! 
demons! There are demons in town! Ah! Everyone, run away! Damn it! What happened to the gate watch? He's the one who turned into a demon! <laughs> Now's your chance! Run! Sorry, but you're going to help me. I have a message for the Abbey's Legates. On the next Scarlet Night, I will offer a sacrifice to Mount Killerhouse and strip Enominat of his power. I dare them to try and stop me! She just ate the demon with her arm! She she's... I am corruption made flesh! Velvet, the Lord of Calamity! <laughs> oh, <laughs> the city is ours. Flee to the south, puny humans, while your tears dump the snow! The demon lord of Hurry, chaos! Before our dark mistress sucks the marrow from your very bones! She lead us all! Run for it! We should do this more often. It went well, except... Ow! What was that for? There will be no sucking of marrow. My sister taught me proper table manners. Oh, what a waste. The marrow's the tastiest part. <laughs> it kinda is. At least now the citizens of Mercio won't be swept up in our fight. They already are. We just tore their homes and livelihoods away. This wasn't for them. This was to summon the legates here. That's all. Even so, I thank you for what you've done, O oh fearsome Lord of Calamity. I'll pretend I didn't hear that, O oh exalted Praetor of the Abbey. A whole crowd of people were fleeing south. What happened? Benwick, why are you here? I had a delivery for the first mate. Kurogane and Kamoana are here too. You brought Kamoana? She absolutely insisted on following me. Poor kid said she had a dream that you died, Eleanor. Kamoana. How long do we have until Shigure and the others get here? Hmm. Given the distance, my guess is they won't show up until the Scarlet Night. Then I think I'll make use of that time. Kurogane wanted me for something, I take it? Aye, that's what he said. All right then. Everyone go rest up. Good idea. We've got a battle to prepare for. This may be the last breather we get. As always, better make sure you leave no regrets. Huh. <sighs> Fee, anything could happen. Don't leave town. Can I... can I stay with you, Velvet? I don't mind, but... you sure? Yeah. Do what you like, then. Writing another letter to your sister? Nope. This time she sent one to him. <laughs> Man, she hardly ever writes back. Hope this ain't a bad omen. Shut it. Aizen, that's great news. I told her about all of you in my last letter. Seems she was amused. Says you sound appropriate for me, and she'd love to meet you. 
Weird sister you've got. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> A girl weird enough to want to live alongside the Reaper. No matter the cost. I'd love to meet her, too. I'll warn you. Touch my sister and I'll kill you. Right? Sheesh! You say that to every guy you meet. Hopefully protective. Nah, just obsessed. That's even worse. We'll all go meet her together someday. I like your confidence. Yeah. I man the wheel of my own ship. Aye. As do I. And all of you. And even her. Having fun? Uh, uh, Kamawana insisted that we play, so... Madam Eleanor! I followed Kamawana for you. She's hiding right over there. Wow. Cheating against a kid? That's low. I didn't! Bad Bianfu! No cheating! Huh? But when I play with Miss Maki Lu, she always makes me do that. She's a terrible influence on you. Eleanor! Why aren't you looking for me? I found you, Kamalana! And Doyle! What? No fair! See? That's cheating! I didn't cheat. I simply utilized Bienfu's cheating. That's called strategy. <laughs> Plans must be solid and reactions flexible, right? Right. See, Kamalana? I'm smart and strong. You don't have to worry about me. Don't worry. I believe in you, Eleanor. I'm just worried that Bienfu will get you in trouble. Why am I the bad guy now? I can handle Bienfu, too. Don't worry. I'll make sure everyone makes it back safe. Okay, it's a promise. Come on, If you're feeling better now, head back, okay? It's too cold, you'll go into hibernation. No sleeping! Dial's it next, cause he's a crocodile! I'm not a crocodile, I'm a lizard. Isn't that the same thing? Not even close! You think crocodiles can regrow their tails? It has to be possible. There must be a way to make a better world for everyone. Humans, demons, Malakim... And I intend to find it. It might take years. No, decades, centuries, generations. Even if it takes me millennia, I'll do it. Playing the long game, I take it? I believe in you, Eleanor. You'll find a way. I will. Once I've made up my mind, nothing can stop me. Yep. Trust me, we know.
What's that sound? It's Kurogane. He must be forging another sword. He certainly is. The old fellow's forging himself into a blade. He's turning himself into a sword? He can do that? Is that possible? Who knows? Either way, it's what he decided to do. We had one last drink together. You'd go that far to defeat Shigure and Stormhowl. I would. I'll turn a friend into a sword to kill my own brother. I'm a jerk. I'm in no position to judge. I think you are. Whatever you may look like, you're human. You hate because you love, and feel as much hurt as you do anger. That's human. <laughs> Kurogane is with me. He agreed to it. What our blacksmith friend feels towards Stormhowl is more than resentment. It's admiration, too. That's why he wanted to do it. He wanted to put everything he had into one final clash. Shigure is the same. He has that very human strength to take the good along with the bad and just keep pushing ahead. A strength that I, as a demon, can never match. Brooding doesn't suit you, Rokuro. You wanted to be a swordsman greater than any other. That's why you fought and bled to perfect your skills. That's the sort of man you are. Yep, that's who I am. I like that part of you, Rokuro. Me too. Thanks. Lord of Calamity, your schemes are your own business. But I won't stand by if Kamawana's fate is involved. It's a bit late for that. If you mean to stop me, you'll have to strike me down first. You asked for it! Achoo! Ugh. I found an inn with a nice big hot spring. Warm yourself up before you catch cold. What a darling you are! I'll take you up on that. Gotta conserve my strength! Good idea. Fee, want to join me? What? No, no way! No need to hold back on my account. The bath at the inn should be huge. That's not the problem! Achoo! See? Hurry up and get in. I'll bathe alone, thank you. You go first. Fine, fine. Ah! What is it?
just a little errand. Watch these folks for a bit, all right? Looks like you got our message. You plan on awakening the four Empyreans? Age hasn't dulled your wits, I see. Surely you know the consequences. You know the chaos you will bring if you take that route. Oh yeah, so much chaos. You know me not to amplified resonance will return to normal, the Malachim will regain free will. Many exorcists will lose their power to do whatever they do, and the Abbey will lose its means of control. While the demon threat will remain unchanged. Not only that, but the elemental balance of this world will be thrown into turmoil for hundreds of years. Earth will shift, skies will go mad, seas will swell, volcanoes will erupt. It'll be quite a show. All of civilization will regress. The eruption of Mount Killerus alone will rob humanity of its source of flamestone and consequently of gunpowder. Mmm, sounds fun. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm sure mankind will think of something. Go humans, right? Just what do you think humans are? The wellspring of all malevolence. Thus must emotion be quelled and reason bring order to the world, until the day that humanity can repent and overcome their sins. I get that right? You did. You know me not was awakened for that very purpose. We are the instruments of change, hated for our sacrifice. We are the shadow of the shepherd who brings salvation. Will you not return to our side? You still seem to think of yourself as a maven. I can think of nothing more boring than your ideal world. It is a world of purity. A garden of fake flowers, good for show and nothing else. It's a world of order built on righteous ideals. Those ideals are twisted! Can a flower hold beauty if it does not wilt? Can a wolf be satisfied eating grass? The thought makes me rich, as do those who wish for it, and those content to live in shackles! Let the biting bugs go ahead and eat what they want to eat. Let the weeds grow where they want to grow! Some may look down on them and scoff at their foolishness, but their unwavering wills are proof that they're alive! If that's what you call evil, then I will live and die with evil as my mantra! Then I have no choice but to crush you. Used to treating people as bugs, aren't you? We got your back, Magilu. Wait. Now is not the time. His life belongs to the Lord of Calamity. Melchior Maven? I'll see you at the volcano. Don't you worry. I'll be sure to be there as you breathe your last. Very well. It will save me the trouble of having to crush you one by one. You haven't changed at all, Master. Ah, oh, what a nice bath. How was the men's side? Uh, not bad. I feel warmer now. Hmm? Your face is all red. In there too long? Uh, uh, uh. No, um, I feel fine. <clears throat> oh, 
You mind? Help me comb my hair. Can I? Yes, please. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Be careful, okay? I can't contain it. You know something, Velvet? Your hair is really beautiful. <laughs> you know, that power that I have... If I could master the Silver Flame... I might be able to turn you back into a human. A human? If we ever had a chance to start over, I'd love to cook for you every day. My quiches are much better than anything they sell in the stores. Okay, then I'll fetch the water and chop the firewood. <laughs> All by yourself? Of course! I'm gonna get a lot taller soon, and I'm gonna get stronger too. Yes, you will. I know you will. Great! Then I'll start looking for a way to master- No. Uh it's too late. I've made too many sacrifices. Too many to ever come back from. I can't. But Velvet... Even worse, I haven't stopped. I'm willing to sacrifice others to keep going forward. If we kill Inomi not, what will happen to the Therians who are part of him? Will they return to normal? Well... It's likely that they'll all die. I know it. I dug my own grave. What about Kamoana and Medissa? Uh, More importantly, what about you, Fee? You are connected to him. Uh, I know I might die if I go through with this, but still I have to do it. Even if it means I have to sacrifice everyone that I know, even you who saved me. The Lord of Calamity isn't a demon lord. She's just a selfish, Horrible girl. I have something to confess. <laughs> I... I don't like being called Fee. I really don't. <gasps> I think that name's too childish. Luffy said the same thing to me. I'm sure that he did. Velvet, you really don't understand boys at all. Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. He said. <sighs> Is Velvet in there? Uh, yeah, but now's not the best time. I'm here. Dry up. Break time's over. The Leggets have arrived. 